Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday. Um, I wanted to like squeeze in uh, my witch's moon because tomorrow I have to go to like the dentist. <laughs> it's like, oh, not excited for it. But um, you know, it's like, so I should squeeze this in before I do that. <laughs> So I'm like, I was, this was probably when I saw the themes, I was probably most excited for like this box. Um, the Witch's Roots, I just feel like, I just like love this one too. Like this one, they just put so much stuff in this box for like this only being I think like 35 bucks. So, and I've built like a beautiful herbal grimoire from being subscribed to this box um, over the years. So yeah. Got my nails on. I <laughs> finished them, so there we are. <laughs> I didn't bring the UV light over here. There it is. Cha ching! <laughs> Wasn't that a perfect Halloween color? Too bad I didn't find that color in October, but um, yeah, I'm so excited. I forget exactly. It was like the Fearless Right, I think is what the theme was. So yeah, I um really enjoyed like the candle ambiance. So I'm just gonna kind of like do that again. Um, cause like I haven't been feeling the best. I don't know totally what it is. So I'm just like, just trying to just be chill, take my time, and um, enjoy this. So let's get into it. So here's what it looks like on the inside. It's a ledger. And then we, okay, yeah, so I was right. The fearless right. We are held back by fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of the failure, fear of judgment in a world where intuition is drowned out by the screaming of opinions and information that can be heard all around us. We fall into magic. The overwhelming number of voices surrounding us can easily push us into a state of fear that holds us hostage, not permitting us to reach our goals or experiences that wonder or excuse me, that wonders, goals or experience, experiences, uh, experience, no, 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 <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> experiences the wonders of the world. In this very personal collection, we call upon specific energies to help us walk the path of freedom unbound by these nasty and uh, ferocious bonds. It is during this wonderfully dark season that we can break the chains of fear that bind us and reclaim our power. The magical items in this box are as follows. <laughs> so let's check it out. So there's the 10 items in this box. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. So I was just playing with this deck yesterday. How funny is that? So I like saving my oracle cards for the end. So we have... Oh, look at this beautiful artwork. What does it say? With fearlessness of power to transform many new blessings today be born oh i love that that's probably like um got me into that was probably the first thing that i learned about when i was doing like spiritual stuff was like the chakras was probably the first thing i probably learned about and then obviously like i like crystals have been like forever <laughs> since i like can remember i always been drawn to crystals but that's probably the first thing was um, learning the chakras and then oh wow butterfly pea flower so I received a tea of this one time I think I've heard if you squeeze lemon it changes the colors I'm right with that this is beautiful the 
seven pointed star. I just love all the writing. Virgo and Pisces, Moon and Venus, the Hindu, the Arabic, the Hebrew. It's just so beautiful. I love seeing different languages. And I love deciphering like the witches alphabet they, when they write on this. That's beautiful. <clears throat> uh, I feel like this goes with like the moon box and it just smells so pretty. So let's put this right here. Put that right there. Alright. And then here's what the box looks like. So here is one muslin bag for our tea. Oh wow, it's pretty velvety vibes in this. Feeling flower, <laughs> ritual herbal tea. Oh, look how yummy this looks. Oops, it's like a beautiful pink metallic color. This smells, this smells good, a little bit more spicy, not as fruity, but, um, yeah, it smells nice. Let's see what's in here. So we have, this is the sixth item, Feeling Flower Herbal Tea with Muslin Bag, Caffeine Free. The sweet blend has been created with chamomile, rose petals, orange peel, oat straw and lemon balm with lavender and stevia. Use approximately one teaspoon of tea for eight ounces of water. And use your discretion as you, as, as you like, you know, want, want the taste. You have that, it's beautiful. And then, okay, a small item. Ooh, these are like fatter incense than usual, it looks like. These smell yummy. Kind of reminds me of like the first incense I ever smelled. What are these called? Musk. Musk ritual incense. It's beautiful. I love the imagery on them. I love that they change like the stickers on the um, incense and like the oils and stuff. I like how they've been doing that. So we have. The incense sticks, five, six, seven, eight. So eight item or the eighth item, must ritual incense, unmatched in its ability to clear negativity from any space. Musk is traditional and ancient aroma that continues to be used for meditation and holistic health. Specifically, the smoke from musk incense carries away anxieties and heavy emotional loads creating space for mental clarity and realignment. So that's beautiful. I love the smell of that. That's so soothing. <laughs> and then we have our candle. So I wonder what color it's gonna be. Mm, for some reason I have a feeling it's blue. Let's see. Periwinkle. I like it makes me think of Blue Lace to Gate, which was kind of in that card reading that I did. But look at the pretty sparkles. So that's so pretty. Let's see. This is um, the ninth item the hand rolled hearth fire, or excuse me, heart fire mini beeswax bowl candle. We have hand rolled this heart fire mini beeswax bowl candle with the intention of increasing the energies of confidence within your space. This is a wonderful spell candle to be used during rituals of banishing and clearing. As the flame dances before you, visualize your heart bursting into a blue flame, unquenchable, filled with inspiration, hope, and excitement. 
And of course, we have a burning candle unattended. That's beautiful. Move that out. Then we have our oil. Oh, and happy um, new moon, everyone. I'd love to know like what you're doing for the new moon. Any fun plans? I made a couple candles. Again, um, some new moon Scorpio energy. Oh, that would be fun. There. And also, it's the same symbol, which is really cool. And it's like paint, like marbling paint, it looks like in the sticker. Give it a sniff, sniff a Rooney, do a little shake. It smells, um, it smells like fruity, but powdery, and a little floral, floral, <coughs> floral, floral, free, <laughs> like flory, like a little floral, fruity, and a little like, but like a little bit of a powder smell too, um, kind of like a cool smell, um, this is the Fearless Right. Magical anointing oil. <clears throat> and this is five, six, the seventh item. You have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of breaking down the barriers of fear and anxiety that may be holding you back from manifesting your goals. A special blend has been created to bring powerful surges of fearless energy to you and your magical tools. It can be useful to create a mantra for this special or excuse me for the specific oil reciting it out loud before each use it is important to remember that your words are filled with powerful magic in and of itself i have enchanted this oil with ling ling jasmine and rose oils and have include hibiscus and blue cornflower herbs as well i have been loving all the like um all the hibiscus in the um, boxes. Like, I love hibiscus. Inside your oil, you'll find a small crystal chip of garnet, rose quartz, and clear quartz. That's cool. It's the first time they've included more than one crystal in the oil. We have also included a special mixture of our Clear Path Magical Anointing Oil from our personal cabinet, which we into the making, or excuse, excuse me, into the mixture of this oil. So this is like beautiful energies for like Samhain is also like you know the new year so like putting in the intentions to start like you know the new cycle so I kind of like the vibes in this box is giving very cool and there's like three more items I believe so I'm going to take them out so we have our herb and we have our two I've been liking that they've been doing like two, um, like two, like items that kind of go with everything else, um, and the crystal too. But uh, I'll read about the butterfly pea flower. I want to give it a little sniff too. Not really like. Oh wow! It smells like kind of like spicy. I've never like worked with this before, so I'm excited too. Very pretty blue. So it says about um, a butterfly pea flower found found in the appearance of a butterfly in flight when in bloom. The butterfly pea flower in a true beauty in the pea family is a true beauty. Excuse me, in the pea family. In India, this beautiful flower is viewed as holy and is used in daily puja rituals. The spiritual significance of this vibrant, vibrant blue flower is profound and is known to calm the mind so that pathways can be open for a true awakening. When this flower is worn or carried, it can provide the necessary energy of perseverance to break through any bar barriers that stand before you. 
More information regarding the butterfly pea flower can be found within your herbal grimoire artwork, included within this box. Elemental Association Earth, Water, and Planetary Association Venus and the Moon. This would have been cool to work with in the candles. The butterfly pea flower. We have that. <clears throat> and then of course, you know, the herb the the artwork to go with the herb. And then we have two more things. So let's do the box. Oh wow. So this one's cool. It's on a cord. With fearlessness and power to transform, many new blessings today be born. That's beautiful. Let's see what it says about it. This is the third item. Kali Yantra, fearlessness, pendant with cord made from fine pewter. This beautiful Kali Yantra, fearlessness, pendant has been created exclusively for this collection, but may be offered on our moon market at a later time. Although this is a symbol in the external world, it is meant to be spiritually internalized within the body. Kali is the dark goddess associated with destruction and creation of all things. Especially, or excuse me, specializing in breaking down barriers of fear and uncertainty. This Kali Yantra shows Kali presented as pra, Pragwiti, if I'm saying that correctly, I apologize if I'm not, symbolized by an eight-petaled lotus. This circle represents the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. The 15 corners of the inverted cons Concentris, or excuse me, concentric triangles represents the psychological states or five organs of knowledge. On the back of this pendant, you will find the following inscription With fearlessness and power to tr transform, may new blessings today be born. So that's beautiful. I love when I know it's like earlier this year, they had like the druid entering the grove and then they did like a month later for like the moon box and then a month later they did the druid box and we got the druid wisdom deck and then they did the egyptian box and then the month before they did the isis where i liked like where this month they did they actually complemented each other so you can work with them at the same time instead of like a month later so i love how this goes with like the kali um the Kali box. That's beautiful. That right there. And then we have this looks like blue. Yeah, blue velvet. Little bag. I love like velvet <laughs> bags. I love that they put this one in. Okay, very pretty chakra bracelet bracelet. I actually broke my last one, so that's cool. Oh, interesting. Do the diamonds come off of mine? It looks like uh, this one doesn't have any diamonds, but this one does. They're so good with customer service, though. If this is broken or something, they'll probably send me a replacement. But, um, very beautiful. I love the... I just love... I love, like, a beautiful rainbow. <laughs> I just think it's so cool, you know, I'm such a nerd about crystals, and I think it's so cool that they're able to grow in such different variety of colors, that's, it's always been so neat to me, but, um, it's a little bit big, bracelets are usually a bit big, that's why I usually always make my own, but, um, yeah, I love using the Lapa Bee bracelets for, you know, putting oils on and stuff, and, so I'll be definitely using that oil with this. 
Um, let's read about our bracelet. Um, this is the fifth item. Oh, so the Kali, so this goes with the um, necklace, the artwork. And this is afterwards, the chakra rock stone bracelet with blue velvet drawstring pouch to bring balance and a sense of fullness to your day. We have included this bracelet for you to wearing to wear during rituals, meditation, or mundane tasks. This bracelet has been created with red jasper, carnelian, yellow adventuring, green adventuring, sodalite, lapis, amethyst, and lava rock, which can be anointed with very small amount of magical oils if you wish. I am obsessed with that black lava stone candle holder they gave in the moon box that has been like really cool because I love putting the oils that they give on that but that's so nice too and then last but not least is our oracle so this is actually what the oracle is right here this is what the oracle deck actually looks like raise your crystal vibration isn't it ridiculous that I have like the deck that they use <laughs> so funny. But I love those little mini decks. So we have this beautiful blue. I think this is the moonstone one actually. The personalized oracle reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Chakra Love deck by Key uh, Maithing Maithing Shaw to place inside your box. The crystals you have received has a chakra healing message for you. Turn the card over to reveal that message. Consider what is, or excuse me, what it means to you and trust it. Take the time to contemplate how this message was meant to be received. Know that this is a direct hint from your guides. And of course, for anyone watching, this um, is a message for you too, because you're seeing it. So let's see. Listening, throat chakra. Ooh, okay, this is for Larimar. If you want to be heard, learn to listen. <laughs> How funny is that? And this is almost like, this is like the same symbol almost, the triangle. Very cool. So I really enjoyed this collection. It was very cool. I low-key really like love like chakra tools and stuff. So I'm happy to have like gotten this because um, I was kind of feeling drawn to like kind of dig deep into chakras again so like <laughs> this came like at the perfect time you know um, and at the end it says please know that this collection has been uh, curated for you with care and pure intentions our small team of only a few artists writers and creators have cultivated these tools over many many months to finally bring you up this assortment of magical items May the energy instilled within these items bring you a sense of comfort and magical inspiration. May your rituals be performed with beauty and grace. As we see the world, so it is. Blessed be the witch's roots, the fearless right, the witch's roots for November 2023 in the letters written by G. Ibis. And then if you'd like to just see the ledger. I noticed that they had like sigils on the paperwork this month which is kind of like new which I really like um, when they include different sigils I like to work with them so I think that was cool to kind of see um, I don't know here is the bottom part but yeah I think this collection is really cool um, I'd love to know how did you feel about it. Do you like to work with like um, with your chakras? Um, what was like the first thing that you kind of got into like spiritual workings? What was like the first thing you remember like kind of diving deep into? I'd love to know that. And um, yeah, I want to kind of do um, a separate video again. <laughs> um, so I might do like. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's like some sales going on. I was kind of eyeballing getting another box. So I don't know. But I probably will, probably will do a card flip through or something. Um, or I'll just announce it maybe next Sunday. 
um, for my giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing two, two people, <laughs> two winners this time, and um, it's going to just be very simple, and um, yeah, just keep it simple, a lot more simple than the last one, so you don't have to bounce around, totally just, you know, comment on that video when I announce the video, but um, I'm trying to put together, so I like to try to do, like, themes for each thing, I don't like to just throw things together and just be, like, here, <laughs> so I kind of want things to be cohesive while I put them together, so it just kind of feels a little extra special, you know, um, so just watch out for that, because it will just probably be that video and then a week later I'll pull the winner, you know. But um, yeah, I'd love to know if you've ever tried butterfly or butterfly pea flower tea. That's like, you know, I'd love to know that. Um, and yeah, if you got this box, how did you feel about it? I love the incense. It's probably like my favorite thing and I can't like, I'm kind of obsessed with this candle. <laughs> But um, I really like that we got this medallion this month, um, cause that's like really cool. It goes with like the other like theme. I thought that's cool. I like when the themes complement each other. I like that. I know a lot of people, not like everyone likes that, but I enjoy that. So yeah, <laughs> um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It means so much. And um, if you made it this part this far, if you want to just um, leave a, mm, a little pink heart or a pink, some type of pink emoji, um, and yeah, <laughs> thank you so much guys for hanging out with me, it means so much, um, and I'll look forward to seeing you next one. I'm sending you much love and light, please stay safe out there, and I look forward to seeing you next one. Bye guys.